We have got our 30 minute vinyasa today. It's an energetic flow if you've already read, so there's not going to be much time to rest. But you know your body better than I do, so at some points, just don't listen to me. If I say something, you just think, I don't want to go there. You don't have to. You don't have to do anything. Unless I'm telling you cues that are going to help keep your body safe, you don't have to listen to me. So, what I would say is just prepare yourself. Just take some really nice deep breaths. We're going to be getting into it straight away, so if you know that you need to do some warm-ups for your body, if you know that you've got tight hips or tight shoulders, or you need to do some wrist stretches first, pause. Do that and then come back to it once you feel a bit more ready. Let's get started. started at the back of the mat, feet apart. We're going to be coming into some walkouts, into your lunge, easy twist. Bend through those knees, walk the hands forward into a high plank. Bring the right foot forward, ankle in the inline, big inhale. Right hand goes up, maybe your knee is down. Exhale, hands down, step that foot back, all the way back. Maybe you try and keep your legs straight. Other side, walk forward through your high plank, really strong. Bring your left leg forward, left arm up and down. Through your high plank, push all the way back. And again, right side, really feeling that warm up through the hamstrings, through the hip flexor, and those shoulders. Left side, really feel every single movement, try not to rush, and really try to get to a nice strong plank before you come into that low lunge twist. Okay, third time, this time, from the easy twist, coming into a side plank, bringing that right hand up. Now, maybe you're modifying the side plank, that is absolutely fine. If not, you're splitting to the outside of that left foot. Bring the right leg all the way back. Maybe that right foot is in front. Maybe the left knee is down. Really reaching tall, chest is open, very nice. Coming into some hip dips, dropping that left hip down and squeezing the oblique up, really reaching high, staying strong, I told you we were going to be warming up really quickly, just checking that that shoulder and wrist is still in line, three, two, and one, coming down to our forearms, still in this plank, forearm, right hand up, thread the needle, Right hand goes through the gap underneath the left side of the body. Really using those obliques. Keep pushing the mat away with that forearm. Three, two, and one. All the way down through your forearm plank. Push the mat away. Drive the energy through the heels. Almost separate the shoulder blades. Keep that core engaged. Really nice. Absolutely. You take it on your knees. Three, two, and one. Coming into that forearm plank from the other side, bring that left hand up. Stay here. And then come into your thread the needle. So left hand through the gap of that right side. Still squeezing those hips up, creating as much distance from the mat as you can. Really nice. Coming into your high plank, wrist underneath your shoulder. Again, absolutely you modify. Left hand high, pull those shoulder blades together. Hip dips, dropping that hip down and up. Breathing here, remember. Keep pushing the mat away with that hand. Three, two, and one, this time taking that left hand all the way down into your high plank on your hands. Push the mat away, drive the energy through the heels. Keep that belly engaged, keep that pelvis tucked. 
Keep breathing. Three, two, and one. Pushing all the way back into your downward dog. Maybe your heels are off, maybe your knees are bent, and that is okay. Fingers are spread nice and widely. Grounding through those hands, pushing the mat away, sending that energy through the tailbone. Rolling those biceps away from the ears. Belly button pulling into your spine. Trying to keep a nice relaxed head here. Three more deep inhales and exhales. Grounding through the L's of the fingers, the index finger and the thumb. Inhale, three leg dog, right leg up, flexing those toes, keeping the hips square. Bending that right knee, coming into your scorpion dog, so driving that right knee to the sky. Keeping the shoulders square to the ground. Breathing here, really feeling that space creating in the hips. Final inhale. Exhale, tippy toes of the left foot. Draw that right knee to your nose. Stepping all the way through to your low lunge. Only for a second because then we're picking up this left leg into your standing splits. Exhale, stepping that leg back down. Pushing back to your high pyramid. Keeping on the tippy toes of your left foot. Inhale, standing splits, pick up that left leg, really use those glutes. Exhale, left foot down, straightening through that right leg to your pyramid. Inhale, standing splits, using those glutes, really nice. Exhale, this time stepping that left foot straight back, inhale up to your warrior two. Settling in here, making sure that knee is drawing to the little toe side of the foot. Belly button is hugging in, ribs aren't sticking out. Relaxing those shoulders, reaching the fingers. Breathing here, making sure both legs are doing as much work as the other. Inhale, reach forward, exhale, sweep the hand up and over, reverse that warrior. Keeping a bend through that front leg. Exhale, hands all the way down to the ground. Picking up the right leg, coming through your vinyasa or straight back to your downward dog. Vinyasa, you're taking the shoulders over the wrists if comfortable. Coming halfway or all the way down into your cobra or your upward dog. Exhale, everybody meet in your downward dog, really nice. Inhale, three leg dog, left leg up, keeping the hips square. Exhale, bending the left knee. Drawing that knee to the sky. Breathing here, keeping the shoulders square to the ground. Really find that space, the deep inhales. Next, inhale, tippy toes of the right foot. Exhale, draw that left knee to your nose, stepping straight through to your low lunge. Just for a second, we're coming into our standing splits, right leg high. Exhale, right leg down, straighten through that left leg, high pyramid. Inhale, standing splits, right leg goes up. Exhale, down, standing splits, really nice. Final time, inhale, standing splits, right leg high. Exhale, step straight back into your warrior two. Settling in here. Finding that space to breathe, that space to try to relax. Sink a little bit lower. Feel like both feet are pulling in towards another to keep that nice lifted feeling. Inhale, reach forward, exhale, sweep all the way up and over, reverse that warrior. Final exhale, cartwheel the hands all the way down to the ground. Pick up the left leg, straight back to downward dog or through your vinyasa, chaturanga, cobra or upward dog, all the way back to your downward dog, you know where we're going now, inhale right leg high, three leg dog, exhale tiger curl the knee all the way through to the front, low lunge, 
Inhale, standing splits, left leg high. Exhale, left leg back, high pyramid. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, pyramid. Final time, standing splits, really drive that left glute high. Exhale, all the way back down, warrior two. This time, exhaling into your extended side angle, right forearm to the right thigh, left hand up and over. Keep thinking about this underside being long rather than crunching. Lift up that chest, work that back foot all into the ground. Breathing here. If you want to keep driving, maybe you lift up that underarm, really working those thighs. Final inhale. Exhale, hands all the way down. Maybe you're hovering this right leg through your vinyasa. Chaturanga. Cobra or upward if you're warming up. All the way back down with dog, really good. Inhale, three leg dog, left leg high. Exhale, tiger curl, left knee all the way through to the nose. Only for a second in your low lunge, picking up the right leg into your standing splits. Exhale, back, high pyramid. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, high pyramid. Final time, standing splits. Make this the highest that your foot has gone. And then final exhale, stepping all the way back into your warrior two. Settling in here, really nice. Next exhale, extended side angle. Reach that right hand up and over. Making sure the rib cages are staying in, you're not sticking them out. Chest is open, that upper shoulder isn't rolling in. Maybe that underarm comes up. Keep extending, keep reaching. Final inhale. Exhale, hands all the way down. Again, maybe that left leg is lifted. Exhale, chaturanga. All the way up. Meeting back in your downward dog. Really nice, everyone. Breathing here. Maybe you come into child's pose just for a quick break. Or if you really want to get energetic, you can come down into your dolphin. Come down to the forearms and start to walk the feet towards the arms, keeping that tailbone high. Keep pushing the mat away with the forearms. Trying to take that face as far away from the mat as possible. Breathing here. Three, two, and one. Everybody into child's pose, really good. Forehead down. Feeling that breath coming back to you. Sides and back of the ribs expanding so much that you can feel that sense of calm, that power coming back into your body, allowing you to push through to the end of the class. Final inhale here. Big exhale, maybe you sigh out any energy that isn't serving you. Inhale, come through your all fours. And back into your downward dog, pushing that mat away. Coming into that flow one last time, really bring this energy. Inhale, right leg high, three leg dog. Exhale, let's add some extra tiger curls in. Draw that right knee to the right arm as high as you can. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, tiger curl, right knee, left arm. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, knee all the way through to the nose. Really good, low lunge. Inhale, standing splits. This time, take both hands off if you can to heart center. Bend through that standing leg a little bit, flexing the left toes. We're coming up into our warrior three, straightening up through that right leg. Slight cobra in that upper back. Really working the left glute to keep it up at hip height. Really nice, keep breathing. Keep working this right glute so you're not sticking that hip out. Final inhale, exhale slowly as you can, step that leg back into your warrior two. Really good, settle in here. Three deep rounds of breath. 
feeling yourself get feeling yourself get heavier and sinking down into the ground at every exhale final inhale reach forward straighten that front leg into your reverse warrior exhale cartwheel the hands all the way down to the ground coming back coming through your vinyasa maybe you're hovering that leg upward dog or cobra or you skip the vinyasas it's your practice downward dog this is our final flow so really make it count inhale left leg high exhale knee to the left arm as high as you possibly can push the mat away squeeze that knee in inhale left leg high exhale left knee to right arm make that connection inhale three leg dog exhale knee all the way through to your nose and then step through to your low lunge just for a second into your standing split right leg high bend through that left leg flex the right toes and see if you can push all the way up to your warrior three making sure both glutes are active slight cobra in that back staying nice and stable really good making sure that weight is slightly forward in the toes maybe you have a micro bend in that knee if you know that you lock out your knees quite a lot final deep inhale exhale as slowly as you can reaching that right foot back all the way up into your warrior two three deep breaths here sinking down further settling in really nice at the end of that last breath inhale reach forward exhale reverse that warrior straighten through that leg exhale all the way down to the ground final vinyasa picking up the left leg maybe it's hovering just for this last one exhale all the way down halfway into your upward dog exhale downward dog really nice staying here really feeling that energy drive from the mat all the way up to the tailbone nice deep breaths really good final inhale before we come down to our knees and come all the way down to our bellies really good just take a moment to rest on one cheek hands up to the side maybe you lift up a leg really get comfortable here coming into our half bow so taking that leg back if it was out propping up into your forearms making sure that your shoulders are over your elbows hands are parallel to one another about shoulders width distance apart flat down we're going to be taking the right hand back to the bent left leg so bend up your left leg take your right hand all the way around to the inside of that ankle or the foot and next inhale draw that foot and hand away from one another and into one another to try and lift up that back really working that thoracic spine that energy through the lower back driving the pelvis down trying to keep this shoulder square to the front breathing here keeping that core engaged maybe you add an extra dimension trying to keep lifted you lift off this left hand really nice breathing here exhale come all the way down resting onto the other cheek final inhale before we come onto the other side prop yourself up on your forearms again bend up that right leg left arm reaches round next inhale draw the hands and foot into one another away from one another driving that foot higher lifting that chest further away keep pushing that energy into that forearm really nice if you wanted that extra challenge try to keep lifted and take that right hand off final inhale drive higher 
Exhale, completely release down to that first cheek, really good. Just let those heels hang out to the side, pigeon toes. Breathing here, really good. Now maybe you come into your full variation of bow, or maybe you just practice those half ones again, or just stay lying down, you decide. If you're coming into the full bow, full head down, bend up those legs, hold on to the outsides of those feet or the ankles. Next, inhale, you're gonna drive the feet away, hands into your feet, and that's lifting up that chest. Really breathing here, making sure those knees stay parallel, they're not starting to be pulled out. You're using the glutes to drive you higher, keeping that pelvis grounded. Breathing here. Maybe you lift up a little bit higher. Three, two, and one. All the way down, really nice. Resting onto the other cheek, really good. Coming just back into our child's pose, so plant the hands under the shoulders, push all the way up, coming into a closed knees child's pose. So knees together, toes together, sink the forehead down. This counter pose just helps that back stretching out in the opposite direction. Shoulders rolling down to the mat. Feeling this really nice stretch through the lower back. We built heat so quickly today, so well done for sticking with it. Really feel this breath starting to become more controlled. Being able to breathe deeper all the way down to the bottom of your stomach. Inhale, walking the hands forward through your tabletop, tucking the toes, coming into our final downward dog, straightening those arms straight back, pushing into the ground. Breathing here. Taking the right leg, crossing it underneath the left in your downward dog, really as far out to that left side as you can. And then push your hands into the ground more to feel that stretch through that right leg, through the outside of that left hip. Exhale, release that right leg, left side, left foot under the right, over to the right side and push your weight all the way back, stretching through the left outer hip. Trying to ground down through that inner right foot. Final inhale. On your exhale, just ungracefully as you possibly can, spin your bum all the way down to the ground. Legs out are now gonna to be to the back of the mat. Slowly walk the hands down all the way down to lying. If you know that you want to take any extra movements before your Shavasana, absolutely do so. If not, take the legs as wide or wider than the mat, hands away from the body, palms facing up, and close down the eyes. Breathing here. All of that energy that you have brought to your practice today. Feel it circulating around your body, almost like a fireball. You're not allowing it to leave. It's just gonna keep going round and around, driving whatever you need to do with the rest of your day. Bringing that same positivity, that same integrity, to everything that you need to do. Because you know that you have dedicated this time to you and you have now got the energy to do everything else. 
Feel that belly rising and falling. With every exhale, get heavier. Sink further down into the mat, especially feeling those arms grow heavy. We've done a lot of work with those today. If you're newer to the practice, absolutely a big well done. These energetic classes do really push you. So well done for sticking with it. And you can always return. Maybe you stay here or you start to bring movement back into your body, wiggling the toes, wiggling the fingers. Big reach, fingers and toes as far away from one another, big stretch. Bending up the knees, rolling over to whatever side feels comfortable using that bicep as your cushion. Again, maybe you stay here if this is comfortable for you. Or keeping the eyes closed, start to push yourself all the way up to seated, whatever that looks like for you. Hands onto your thighs, palms facing up. Well done. Hands to heart center, bow the chin to the chest, thumbs to the third eye. I'm sending you so much positivity, so much energy and gratitude for joining me on this journey. Thank you so, so much. Coming to the end of the class, so whenever you're ready, start to take the hands away from the eyes and blink the eyes open.